across Teesside, County Durham and North Yorkshire. Proud of where we live. BBC Tees. And it's not quite Houston or Cape Canaveral, but a primary school playing field in Thornaby played host to three rocket launches in one afternoon today. The space-themed event at Manday Mill Primary School celebrated the start of the school holidays with a visit from Nick Corston of Steamco, his community enterprise companies travelling the UK, inspiring creativity in schools. Nick told BBC Tees he hopes youngsters are inspired to become the inventors of tomorrow. And I think every parent and carer, what they really want to be doing is helping their young people understand what they want to be great at and then really it's about helping them follow their dreams. Some of the staff went to a Saturday conference and we won the rockets. We spoke to Nick and got it all organised and he offered to come up. I saw this a few months ago in Hull. Somebody has the job crawling all the way along that wind turbine. I saw this at the Imperial College Festival in London, which is one of the best. I don't care if the robots do the dirty, the dangerous, the boring jobs. What we've got to make sure we do in school is educate all of you to have the skills to do the jobs that the robots won't be able to do. And robots haven't got an imagination. Robots can't do creativity. Robots can't do art. Now the scheme to... skills can get you all sorts of things. And this is the book that's going to inspire today's session. This book by Homer Hickam is about four boys growing up in America in a little Homer Hickam didn't really want to be a and learned to make his own rocket. We've had a fantastic day today getting Steamco involved to try and help with our parent partnership. It's been a really good day. And the last word goes to the Thornaby parents and youngsters who turned their eyes to the skies. What did you think of that then? Absolutely fantastic, yeah. What's the best part about it? Seeing the, how high it went. It was really high. Why did you like it? Um, because it went through the clouds. 